shaking in our truck. You see us shaking. That's the shake that none of the mechanics in our shop can find. docks that's the first one we've ever done and I gotta say I pretty much I'm gonna leave the whole video in there because I pretty much screwed it up it just felt really re, just really weird and wrong I mean I can alley dock you know piece of cake but backing in in that angle I don't know I bombed it it seems like it'd be pretty simple to just you know go straight down and then just I don't know for some reason it's just really weird I guess it's just just used to backing in straight, I guess. I don't know. Once you figure out the angle, I guess once you got used to them, it probably would be nicer. But anyway, I'll leave it on there so you guys can see it make fun of me for my backing. As you can see, we're not in the truck. We're in our car. We got home last night. Today is Saturday. And if you notice, I'm still driving. Dean, don't drive this truck. <laughs> I don't like driving or we've got an Explorer, but I don't like, I tend to swerve. A lot, but I think it's from driving the truck and then you get into this. The steering wheel feels really little and it's really sensitive when you turn it. So I tend to swerve a lot when I'm driving it, so she does most of the driving when we're home. 98% uh, Not 98, probably 98. 99. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're leaving tomorrow afternoon, going out to New Jersey. We're hoping next week will be better because this week was a disaster. Anyway, there was a bunch of snafus with that load also that we picked up there on the way back. Apparently, we had the wrong 
what we didn't have. The company gave us the wrong delivery address, the wrong delivery time. First they said they were open until midnight. Donna called them to confirm our time and the guy said no we're you know that plant's not even open on Fridays. And then our dispatcher called and said no I just talked to the guy they're open until 9 a.m. We called back to confirm that and then he said no we're only open until 9 p.m. We just ended up taking it to our shop and dropping it and they're going to shag it down on Monday. Our reload is from New Jersey to Wisconsin. Donna calls it Menominee. It <laughs> just sounds <laughs> But Google calls it Menominee or... or something like that, yeah. Alright, um, we are heading down. It's like we never get our own free time. Cause where are we going now? Back down to our shop. Because we had to get a drop cord for our truck to plug it in because the plugs they have down there are too big to fit into the receptacle that we have on the truck. So we had to get a drop cord. And plus I wanted one that has the lighted end because that way we know we're getting power to the truck. Go home after that and hopefully relax. Hmm. All right, so anyway, um, I'm gonna finish this. I'll get this put together when I get home and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, we are plugged in. See, those plugs are too big to fit our truck. Won't fit in there. We are on. Put that on. Yeah. See the light. Yes, the light is on. Yeah, we got it started. I started it up. It didn't, wasn't plugged in last night. We wanted to start it up. Just make sure it's starting. So we're good. What are you doing? Oh, I'll put the groceries in there. Oh, that water. I forgot about that one. I'm going to take it in our truck. So it's all out. Huh? Let me have it. I'll put it in our truck. I don't, I don't want to forget it. I'd say it got cold in our truck last night. <laughs>